Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So I grew up in the 80s, which to me was kind of a golden age for sci-fi, fantasy, Nintendo nerds like myself. And as a kid, I loved being a geek. I loved the things that nerds love. But as I got older, I became pretty self-conscious um, and started kind of getting embarrassed by the things that I liked. And I became kind of a closeted geek. And as a closeted geek, I wasn't entirely happy. I was spending most of my nights at home in front of the television or the Xbox. I wasn't really out pursuing any of my passions or connecting with other people. So a couple of years ago, I convinced my wife to spend an afternoon with me at the Phoenix Comic Con. <laughs> Almost kind of ironically, just kind of go get a kick out of it. So we went, and not surprisingly, I had a blast. And I realized that it was pretty stupid of me to spend my life running away from the things that make me happy. So I accepted the fact that I am a nerd, and I let out my inner geek out, and it's Possible I overcompensated a little bit. I decided to start a blog and go exploring in Arizona's geek culture specifically, see what I find, and then to share what I find with other people. And what I found is that there is tons of stuff going on. There is stuff going on every single week. I've been doing this for two years, and literally every single week I have something to write about, something to go do. Steampunk fans are getting together with steampunk fans and doing steampunk things. Star Wars fans are getting together. And when I first started going to a lot of these events, I definitely stuck to familiar territory, um, like Star Wars, lots of familiar faces, like these R2 units or astromech droids, uh, built by a local <laughs> club here. But it doesn't take long to realize that, just like any culture, geek culture has lots of subcultures. Um, and lots of those subcultures can be very interesting and kind of bring a lot of flavor and, and spice to the whole experience. Um, I've also learned that uh, s nerds are very interesting. We're really good at taking something that I would normally consider very boring, like a fashion show, putting the words science fiction in front of it, and turn it into a science fiction sh fashion show, which I would totally go to. Lightning boobs are awesome. <laughs> it's also been really fun taking my kids out to a lot of these events. Um, one thing that I really love about nerds and geeks is that it doesn't matter how old we get, we love to play. Uh, we've never forgotten how to play and how to have fun. This is my son Jonas uh, playing with some props from a Mass Effect film shot in Tempe. But as you take your family out to these uh, geek events, you do end up defending them against wave after wave of the living dead. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what it is about zombies, but geeks love zombies. I'm always writing about zombie stuff going on in the valley. They just eat the stuff up. I can't believe they just used that joke. Um, it's also been really fun connecting with the geek culture that I loved as a kid and growing up in the 80s, like the sweet DeLorean. Yes, there is a flux capacitor in the back, but the owner did not let me get up to 88 miles an hour to see what, what would happen. It's become kind of a joke at work to ask me what I've done over the weekend or what I'm going to do because they know how hard it is for me to explain. Like hanging out with a monsterologist and getting a degree in monsterology. Or, again, spending an afternoon with the Zombie Research Society. And let me tell you, if you have any concerns about a zombie outbreak in Arizona, specifically Phoenix, get with these guys. They have a plan. They will outlive us all. I'm not kidding. Really fun. I've also had the privilege of getting to meet really cool people that do things, that make things. Comic books, video games, movies, web series. Or these guys built a giant replica of ancient Rome so they can play tabletop games on top of it. It's amazing. I wish that picture showed the scale of that thing. Um, I've also had the privilege of feeding off of other people's passions as I've gotten out. Like the people at the Open Hack Space, Heatsink Labs, who just love technology, who love, yeah, tearing it apart, building stuff with it. That was my niece, Megan, learning how to use a 3D printer. Perhaps the most satisfying thing about Arizona geek culture is, and going out and exploring it, is getting to connect with people that do good, like the Arizona Ghostbusters, who spend countless hours raising money for charity and spending time with kids, putting smiles on their faces. So, I guess ultimately my point is, life is too short to spend running away and being embarrassed about the things that you love. Um, I promise that the Arizona geek culture specifically is ridiculously accepting. They're probably the most tolerant, non-judgmental people living on the earth. I also invite you to explore some of Arizona's nerd hangouts and havens. Um, not only are they really fun and could use your support, but they're also a great place to meet other people and maybe debate about who the best Star Trek captain is, even though we all know it's Kirk. And going back to having fun and playing, please come party with us. We're having fun all the time, like the Geek Prom at the Phoenix Comic Con coming up. Honestly, if there's something you're interested in, just come show up. That's the hardest part. 
So if you want to connect more with Arizona geek culture and the amazing community, the sense of community that we have, um, connect with me after the show, stalk me online, we'll have lots of fun. So uh, thanks a lot.